search hashtag eighth grade unit six lesson eight math eighth grade illustrative mathematics unit six lesson eight analyzing bivariate data right now go ahead and like this video i appreciate it problem number one different stores across the country sell a book for different prices the table shows the price of the book in dollars and the number of books sold at that price a draw a scatter plot of this data label the axes the horizontal axis is the price in dollars and the vertical axis is the number of books sold B. Are there any outliers? Explain your reasoning. Yes, there is an outlier. It's the point located far away from the line. C. If there is a relationship between the variables, explain what it is. When the price increases, sales decrease. D. Remove any outliers and draw a line that you think is a good fit for the data. Problem number two from eighth grade, unit six, lesson seven. Here is a scatter plot. Select all the following that describe the association in the scatter plot. A, linear association. These points that are scattered on this plot do not form a straight line, so this one's a no. B, nonlinear association. Since these points that are scattered on this graph do not form a straight line, we can pick this one. C. Positive association. As the age increases, the weight also increases, so there is a positive association. Since it has a positive association, we know it can't be D. Negative association. Since it has a linear association and a positive association, we know it won't be E. No association. Problem number three from 8th grade unit 6 lesson 6. Using the data in the scatter plot, what can you tell about the slope of a good model? A. The slope is positive. The data in this scatter plot shows that the slope is going to be negative because it starts out high and goes low. A positive slope would start out low and go high. B. The slope is zero. The data in this scatter plot show that it has a negative slope, so we know that it can't have a zero slope. C. The slope is negative. We've already determined that the slope of this line is negative. You can also tell by looking at the axes. As the horizontal values increase, the vertical values decrease. That means it has a negative slope. D. There is no association. We know that that's not true because the data in this scatter plot actually forms a slope. Watch the next lesson and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.